I, I pitched the episode at my interview. I was like, listen, I could tell you a story about, you know, trans kids in sports, but you should consider me as a trans person who knows how to walk a mile in another person's shoes for like the whole season. It was already kind of like at the front of my mind. And then as soon as I brought it up in the writer's room, everyone was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We have to do that. That's essential quantum leap. No, I was going to shadow the director. And then we, our director, Maura Nika Jolea Evans got pulled um, on their first day. And that night I texted the executive producers and I was like, look, the whole episode is about like, putting someone in when they deserve a chance. So give me a chance. I'm here and I'm ready. And we, we made it happen. It was wild. We had to get the, the, new, the network and the studio and the Directors Guild all on board in no time to like throw me in. And it was incredible. It was like one of those things that like you, you read about and I was living it. And I knew that as I was living it, I couldn't believe, I got the call driving to the set. You're gonna direct today. Okay. I trained as a director for the theater. So I love working with actors and that's like always been my favorite part. But the thing that really blew my mind was getting to direct a crane shot. Because when you think about directing for, for you know, the camera, it's like when you work with a crane, you've made it, you know? And so when we got to do the basketball scenes and we had this big giant crane, like sweeping through the, the, the players and the crowd. And I was like, how is this my life? It was amazing. Yeah, we, we did a really huge casting search, actually. I worked with the studio to create uh, like a social blast so that we could get the, the broadest reach possible. Mm -hmm. um, and we had, you know, over 200 submissions, I think, for the role, which was incredible. And um, Josie Lynn just, you know, she has a, a heart of gold that shines through her smile and her eyes in every moment on camera. And she's just incredible. So we were so lucky to get her. I mean, so I created the character based off, uh, in part, my own life story and in part, um, the story of two dear friends who are trans and who unfortunately took their own lives in their adolescence and or in their early years. And I was integrating a lot of the things that I had been through as a young person. I grew up in the 90s and also these two friends, one of whom was, was uh, also a queer youth activist like myself. So we were like really out there on the front lines fighting for LGBT rights when we were teenagers. And it was very emotional and it was very healing. Uh, I cried a lot, <laughs> but I had a lot of support from everyone who really believed in what we were doing. And, you know, um, the, the, um, I think the thing that was so important to me was that I was giving voice to the spirit of my friends who I had lost. And um, Gia, who was named after my friend Gia, um, you know, the character, she really, she represents a whole generation of trans kids that we have lost. And, um, and you know, Quantum Leap is about going back in history and rewriting time. And so the idea here is that, you know, in some symbolic way, I'm restoring life to my, to my besties, um, but also helping to preserve the lives of a whole new generation of trans kids. Let kids be kids and believe them when they tell you who they are. You know, ultimately this episode tries to stay out of the political controversy and really lean into the fact that all young people deserve the chance to play with their friends mm -hmm. and to be included. Mm -hmm. And that we as adults have a responsibility to, you know, keep our kids safe, all our kids. And that's the lesson. It is so major. I can't even, I don't even know how major it is, honestly, because it, uh, you know, I keep trying to like, tell myself you know put myself in this in in my own shoes when i was a kid watching quantum leap with my family and and how impactful it was to see the don't ask don't tell episode that came out in 1991 when i was 10 years old and and you know and i don't i don't have a, a family and kids i don't know how many families gather around and still watch you know quantum leap at 10 p.m but the idea that this show is going out into the world and that trans kids and their families will be able to see themselves on screen and that people who feel conflicted will have an empathetic understanding and a, and a, and a heart opening moment. It's just, you know, it really feels transformative. You know, I think that's for the fans to decide. Yeah. <laughs>